Boris Johnson will tell the EU's three top officials tomorrow that they need to swiftly conclude a free trade agreement FTA with Britain or he will walk away from the negotiating table. In what amounts to a take-it-or-leave-it offer from the Prime Minister, he will demand that the EU stops its foot dragging in negotiations and works out a deal consistent to the ones it has with other countries which will not tie Britain into its laws and the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice or force the UK to surrender its fishing waters. The blunt message will be delivered at a video conference with the President of the European Council Charles Michel, the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, and the President of the European Parliament, David Sassoli. It comes as new research by the Centre for Brexit Policy CBP, has revealed that the Conservatives would lose all the red wall seats they gained from Labour in December if they go soft on Brexit. Mr Johnson's robust approach follows a major diplomatic victory on Friday when the EU caved in to Britain's demands to intensify the talks over July and accept that there will not be an extension to the transition period. A UK government official said, the EU was a little slow to agree to an intensified timetable for talks, and has been making noises about so-called tunnels. That's not something we ever wanted and it's welcome that they've now signed up to a sensible process to take the talks forward. The high-level meeting was always envisaged as a moment to push the negotiations forward. We now need to get this resolved and deliver certainty for businesses at home and in the EU as soon as possible. There's a high-quality FTA to be done, based on the agreements the EU has already reached with other countries. But, whatever happens, we will be ready for January 1, when we will be back in control of our laws, borders and money.